How's it going everybody? Sean Allen here, another day, another vlog. If you guys remember a while back, I posted a few videos about my Funko Pop figure collection. There were several pop figures featuring characters from like WWE, ad icons, television, movies, etc. Well guess what? I decided to post another video because, well, let's just say there's still some characters I haven't shown you guys yet. So without further ado, let's go ahead and look at a few more of my pop figures from my collection. Our first pop figure we'll be looking at is a family favorite. It's Jessica Fletcher from Murder, She Wrote. So she's under the category of pop television, number 370. Let's go ahead and turn the box around, just take a look and see what's on the back. As you can see, it's got Murder, She Wrote, Jessica Fletcher. You see the fingerprint right there on the back. So Jessica Fletcher is played by Angela Lansbury, who's well known for her stage performances as well as movies and television roles. She's been in a few Disney films, including Bed Knobs and Broomsticks, and even voiced Miss Potts in Beauty and the Beast. In case you didn't know, Murder, She Wrote was actually filmed on the Universal back lot. In fact, if you've been on the Universal Studio Tour, the whole Jaws sequence there on the tour is actually a part of Cabot Cove, Maine. That's where she lived. Here she is out of her box. As you can see, she's holding onto a bag as well as her flashlight. Now, very quickly, as I pulled her out of the box, I just noticed that her arm is missing. <laughs> this is the first time I've actually opened her out of her box. So, oops. <laughs> they completely forgot to put the arm on the figure. I just pulled her out of the box and I don't see the arm in here. So I'm like, oops. <laughs> in case you didn't know, Murder, She Wrote was a television show produced by NBC Universal and it ran for like, what, 12, 13 seasons? It even had a few spinoff television movies. So yeah, it's a very, very famous show. It even won a few Emmy Awards. But there she is, Jessica Fletcher, my first pop figure for this video. Missing a little bit of an arm, but that's okay. <laughs> you know, I'm getting kind of hungry, and it's actually getting close to lunchtime. I know, we got Colonel Sanders right here from KFC. But instead of Kentucky Fried Chicken, I'm actually in the mood for a cheeseburger. Hey, you know what? That's actually a good segue for our next pop figure. Say hello to Ronald McDonald from McDonald's. Mr. McDonald himself. Now, I have a confession to make. I did not get him at McDonald's. I actually got him at Target. I know. You would think that you would be able to get them at a McDonald's, but nope. Got them at Target. <laughs> I mean, it makes sense, right? But nope. All right. Well, anyways, here he is. He's number 85 under Pop Ad Icons. Makes sense because he is an ad icon. He is part of a series. As you can see from the back here, here are the other figures. We got Ronald right there. Then we have Grimace, Hamburglar, Mayor McCheese, Officer Mac, and Fry Guys. Now, this is a question for today's generation. Do you guys recognize these other characters besides Ronald? Probably not, because they're not often seen with Ronald McDonald nowadays. Probably more associated with the 90s kids, but today, yeah, I don't think so. I could be wrong, but definitely Ronald McDonald is a well-known character, but these other ones, I don't know, maybe Hamburglar. Maybe. Here he is out of his box. Let's go ahead and take a quick look at him. Nice red color for the hair. They did a really good job in his costume, by the way. Even the McDonald's logo looks pretty good. And yeah, that's pretty much all for Ronald here. Ronald McDonald from McDonald's. That's a cool figure. Now if you just stand up straight. <laughs> hey, Colonel Sanders, you got some competition now. <laughs> so I guess you can say that our next pop figure is an NBA champion. Here he is, ladies and gentlemen. It's LeBron James. So Mr. LeBron James here is an official NBA product. He's under the category of Pop Basketball number 66. Execute Order 66. Um, Palpatine, wrong 66. Oh, um, my bad. Bye. Okay, that was weird. Let's take a look at his box. As you can see, it's nice and yellow because he's with the Los Angeles Lakers currently as of 2021. Now, you may notice all these other names on here. That's because it's basically a whole list of basketball players that they've created as pop figures. Just so many different players. And don't worry, I actually do have a few other players from basketball. Don't worry, we'll be getting to them at some point in the future here. But right now, we're focusing on LeBron James. Let's go ahead and check him out. Here he is out of his box. I know it's a little hard to see, but there's his jersey right there. It says Lakers 23 on the front, on the back. It says James, 23. As you can see, he's dribbling a basketball. He's ready to play. Oh, even his shoelaces are purple. I didn't notice that. That's pretty funny. <laughs> Time to shoot some hoops, dunk some slam dunks, and hopefully 
win another championship this year for 2021. What do you think? Think they can do it? We'll find out. As some of you are aware, I actually work in the Wizarding World Harry Potter at Universal Studios Hollywood. So it only seems fair that I actually happen to have one of these figures in my collection. Here she is, all the way from Hogwarts Castle. It's Hermione Granger. Go Gryffindor! So Miss Hermione Granger here is an official Wizarding World product under POP. No subcategory, just under POP. Well, I guess actually Harry Potter here is a subcategory. She's number 113. And as you can see, she's doing the Wingardium Leviosa spell with the feather. So technically, this is her from the first film and the first book, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. Okay, if you're from England, it's called Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. She is, of course, played by Emma Watson. On the back here, we have other figures. We got Harry Potter with the Invisibility Cloak. There's Hermione Granger right there again. That's Ron Weasley. There's Professor Dumbledore, Neville Longbottom. It looks like he's holding on to that... Monster Book of Monsters, yikes. That's from the third film, The Prisoner of Azkaban. And here we have Draco Malfoy. He's got that weird spider-looking creature from Mad-Eye Moody from The Goblet of Fire. Which one is Ron from? What is he doing in this one? Oh, that's when he's barfing up the slugs from Chamber of Secrets. Ugh. <laughs> here she is out of her box. Now you may notice this circular plastic piece underneath her, and you're probably wondering, what exactly is this? Well, consider this is like a stand for the pop figure because... If you want to be able to keep her up for a longer period of time and make sure she doesn't like fall over, that just helps her out. Oh, and very quickly, like I mentioned, she's doing a Wingardium Leviosa spell with the feather. Now, you may notice that her uniform doesn't look like the same uniform you see today at like the Wizarding World Harry Potter. That's because this is actually the first version of the uniform. So the colors aren't as dark as they are now. And plus, there's some colors that they removed and didn't really replace in the later films. So... This was like their first attempt at the uniform, but as the movies went along, they sort of worked their magic in the art department and costume department and made it mostly a, a gray suit with the little color stripe on the bottom of the vest and obviously the black robe. And she should have... Oh, she doesn't even have the logo for Gryffindor right there on the, on the robe. Oh, well, that's okay. But still, it's a cool figure. So there you go. That is Hermione Granger. Now, I know we've been looking at some rather nice-looking figures, but you know what? It's time to get a little creepy. In fact, let's add a little creep show into the mix. For those of you who remember 2019's Halloween Horror Nights at Universal Studios Hollywood, we actually had a whole maze dedicated to creep show, which was based on the TV series as well as the movies. This version of the creep, I believe, is based off of the one from the web slash TV series by Shudder. So we're just going to ahead and turn the box around. There he is. There's the creep right there. He kind of reminds me of the Crypt Keeper from Tales from the Crypt. <laughs> and it's kind of like that because, as you can see, he's holding on to a comic book. And the idea, at least what I think is the idea of the show, is that he reads or somebody reads these really creepy looking comics and they come to life later on, which I believe that's what Tales of the Crypt is like. They read scary stories or whatever. I've never actually seen the shows, but I'm just basing it off of what I've seen from the maze as well as this figure here. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and see what this guy looks like without him being inside the box. Oh, I forgot. So, he is actually under the pop television category, and his number is 990-990. Well, there he is. The creep. He looks like a ghost like this, to be honest with you. Or a really old version of Gandalf. Like, this is basically a cloak that he's wearing. And... There's the comic right there, Creep Show. What's actually funny is that that's an actual image of one of the covers. And I remember this cover because this was like the front entrance to the maze at Halloween Horror Nights. That's pretty funny. <laughs> Oof, boy. <laughs> Scary. And last but certainly not least, we have a special edition pop figure. In fact, it's part of a series called Pop Town. Here it is, my first building from Funko Pop. It's Doc with the Clock Tower. From Back to the Future. Okay, you gotta admit, this is pretty cool, right? You got Doc Brown here, the clock tower, got this lightning bolt striking the tower and electricity going right down towards the light post there. So this is technically Doc Brown from 1955, trying to help Marty McFly go back in time, back to the future, I should say, to 1985, 
as you can see there's the clock tower right there that's like the major prize right there there's also another type of pop figure but it's with marty mcfly and the delorean they don't show it here on this one but there is actually another figure that's of the delorean with marty mcfly inside the car which is pretty cool this is such a cool collector's item guys let me go ahead and pop this up by the way this is part of the pop town category number 15 oh my gosh yeah, this is just so cool so here is doc brown 1955 doc brown he's got his gloves on because he's dealing with electricity he's ready to go now i can't forget about this the clock tower you have to admit this is pretty cool unfortunately you can't stick doc brown on the actual you know clock tower in fact he is a lot bigger than He's supposed to be for the clock tower. He looks like a giant next to that door. <laughs> right around the time when I was working on the Universal lot, I got to walk around the set area for Hill Valley and even walked up these steps to the courthouse, the actual courthouse there in Hill Valley. That was quite an experience. That was really, really cool. This is quite a cool collector's edition here of the clock tower. And of course, we can't forget about Doc Brown here. And where's my DeLorean? Oh, here it is. Yeah. <laughs> cool that is so awesome <laughs> all right here's just one more look at the pop figures we got jessica fletcher ronald mcdonald lebron james hermione granger the creep doc brown and the clock tower awesome and that about wraps it up for this video i hope you enjoyed it if you liked it hit the thumbs up button it is greatly appreciated by the way, just letting you know ahead of time, there's still some pop figures I haven't shown you just yet in my collection that still need to be on video. So don't worry, more videos are coming soon, not just for this channel, but also for the Disneyland video series because I have some Disney pop figures. So I'm saving those for the Disney channel. Now you may notice I'm not showing any of the DC or Marvel characters as well. That's because I'm saving those for the comic corner. And trust me, when I say this, those videos will be coming very soon. So if you like pop figures, don't worry because I will be showing those off very soon on the comic corner. Again, thank you so much for watching the video. If you're interested in checking out more of my videos, be sure to watch my other channels, the Educational Series, the Disneyland Video Series, and the Travel Town Series. You can find me on Instagram. The link is down below in the description of this video. And I decided to create a whole playlist of videos about my pop figure collection. So if you want to see my other pop figures, check out the playlist link in the description box. All right, thank you so much for watching. And seen as they say in Hollywood... So now in Hollywood, I'm at home. That, my friends, is a wrap. See you next time.